Hey guys, get level here and mod view is a thing now on Twitch. It's basically a moderator dashboard. So Twitch announced on Twitter channel moderators. We are giving you a new way to keep your swords sharp. Introducing mod view, a highly customizable page designed to help you do what you do best. So basically mod view is a brand new dashboard that your moderators will be able to use. And if you are a moderator, then you can use it too. Of course, I'm going to be linking the article that talks about this and explains everything. So make sure you check it out and you read everything. So how do you access the mod view? Viking Trash, which is one of my best friends, is live right now and I moderate in her channel. I don't really do it. I do it more for the status. <laughs> but if you go at the bottom of the chat, you will see a little sword icon called mod view. You just click on that and it will bring you to this brand new page where you can visualize the stream from the moderator view. Now, when you launch this for the first time, it will give you a couple of prompts to explain where everything is, but I'm going to try to go through it as fast as I can. So on the right panel, you would have what we would call the chat options. So on top, a list of all the viewers currently in chat and at the bottom, all the channel actions that you can take as a moderator. So here you have the simple actions such as subscriber only chat, emote only chat, follower only chat. You can also turn on slow mode here. Then we have block terms if you don't want the chat to use certain words in a stream. And in permitted terms, if you will allow certain words to not be blocked by the auto mod. Okay, then create a dashboard, review request queue, and then review recent raids. So if you click here, you can see who rated you recently. And then review request queue is basically all the channel points requests. You can take a look at them and make sure that they're fulfilled. So you can reject them and I, bel I hope that refunds the points. I'm not sure. Let's close that. All right. So at the bottom of the stream here, you have the little display at the bottom. You have mod actions and auto mod queue. Auto actions is basically going to list all the actions that any mod has taken in the stream. So if someone got banned, if someone got timed out, if someone got unbanned, it will show up here. That way you keep tabs on who's being naughty and who's being nice. <laughs> I did not mean it to sound like like some Christmas thing. And in auto mod queue, of course, if you use Twitch's auto mod, it will let you know all the weird words that Twitch is not sure that you would allow or not. So I'm guessing you're going to have a list of all those words and you can permit them or block them. OK, and then on the left panel, we have what's called the widget panel, I believe. So if you click on session, it will give you information on the session, how long the stream has been live for the video quality. Well, it's kind of bugged now. It's supposed to say live, but it's saying offline. And then how many people are watching? If you click on the sword, it will tell you who are the active mods, but it also shows you the inactive mods. Then you have the activity feed right now. It's only showing channel points, but you can actually filter it by clicking on this, those three little dots here and make it show everything gifted subs, subs, host, and all of that. And then you have the whispers, basically the whispers that people send to you. I'm not going to click on it because I don't want to show uh, the DMs that I get, but it's your personal DM. So if someone from the channel is DMing you or any other channel, that is where you will find it. Now, if we click on here, there's other channels you follow it means from this page, if you want to go check other channels that you moderate in, for example, I moderate for the running man's, it will show up here. And since you can only get the mod view for one streamer at a time, this is an easy way of switching in between those channels. I will probably show you a little bit later. Then here you have edit mod view. This is where you can really customize. Like you can have a dark team or browse. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> But basically, you can add or remove some widgets. And as you can see here, the widgets right there, they have a little cross on top of them and you can get rid of some if you don't like them. Let's click on the arrow to go back. And here, what's new and feedback? This is the normal. Hey, this is mod view and blah, blah, blah. There's a whole tutorial. Actually, you can rewatch the tutorial if you missed it or if you skipped through it like I did. And here you can give some fit feedback on it. One thing you need to know here, because at first that was kind of annoying as a moderator, I don't I don't usually keep an eye on how many people are on stream. So I love collapsing this. Boom. That's how you do it. And then you'll have that little square thing here to expand it. OK, that way it looks more like the normal Twitch page. Another thing to note is that if you click on those three dots, you can really customize everything to filter what it's showing. Uh, you can also pop them out. If you have multiple screens, you want different things to be on different screens, or you can also minimize to dock. And the dock is this on the left. So now it became an icon. Minimize to dock. Boom. 
So if there are some things that you're not using, there's no need for you to have them on screen constantly. All right, uh, let's switch out the channel. So I'm going to click on here and then click on a different channel that I mod. I haven't showed up in a while. Oh my God, I've been so for 58 months. I'm going to refresh because this is kind of weird. I don't have the widgets. There you go. Once it's here, one thing to note is that you can move a lot of those. You can see here, like if I wanted to move it or whatever, keep it in the middle. Uh, you can move pretty much everything and you can move things from your widget list here and place them wherever you want. So I did that. Put it here. Cool. And basically really shape it the way you want it to be. And uh, those are the basics of mod view. If you have any questions, make sure you go read the article first. Okay. They even have a Q and a in there. Please, please, please read this. I do not work for Twitch. I just discovered that thing just like you. So if there's any information that is missing that you feel like I should have talked about, please put them in the comment section below so other people can get that information. If you're looking for some dope overlays to make your Twitch channel look good, go to gumroad.com slash get level. I have a bunch of uh, cheap overlay packs and then the rest is plain free. Yeah, you heard that right. Free. I recommend the futuristic, one of the most recent ones that is totally complete and animated, including alerts and transitions or the six stinger transition pack, which is completely free. Just make sure you read the descriptions before you buy or you download anything. And uh, that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Stay inside, wash your hands, make me proud, get level out.